Beetlejuice's brightness just surged 250%. Are we about to witness a supernova? The James Webb Telescope just detected an unprecedented 250% surge in its brightness, something that has never happened before, and it could potentially be the sign of things to come. This sparked both excitement and worry among scientists. Could this surge in luminosity be an ominous sign? Hold your breath as we confront the unsettling truth of a star on the edge of oblivion, finding out exactly what would happen when it finally goes supernova. Enter the beyond. Even if you're not familiar with its name, chances are you've beheld the awe-inspiring Betelgeuse. This radiant reddish dot commands our attention positioned proudly at the shoulder of the legendary Orion constellation. Betelgeuse has captured the fascination of humans for millennia. Its presence has intrigued civilizations throughout history, including the ancient Romans. The poet Horus referred to it as Orion's star with a troubled glare over 2,000 years ago. Scientists, too, have been captivated by Betelgeuse due to its brightness and relative proximity to Earth, which allows for detailed observation of its unique features, unlike fainter, more distant stars. From the Aboriginal Australians to ancient Egyptians, and even Greeks were enthralled by Betelgeuse's ever-changing luminosity. The rhythm of the red giant radiance fluctuations has intrigued and captivated generations. However, it is worth noting that Betelgeuse may not have always possessed the reddish color commonly associated with it today. According to the ancient Greek astronomer Claudius Ptolemy, who described the color of Betelgeuse as the star's hue ranged from pale yellow to reddish red, suggesting a possible variation in color over time. Surprisingly, the Aboriginal Australians possessed knowledge of Betelgeuse's bright and dim cycles long before Western astronomers. In Western science, the belief that stars were constant and unchanging prevailed for nearly 2,000 years, as exemplified by the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle. However, this notion was shattered in 1596 when the German astronomer David Fabricius discovered the variability of the star Myra or Omicron Ceti in the constellation Cetus. In the 1830s, the astronomer John Herschel made a significant observation that laid the foundation for astrophysics. Comparing the brightness of several stars over four years, Herschel noticed the varying brightness of Betelgeuse concerning other stars. This finding propelled the study of astrophysics, a specialized field dedicated to exploring the ever-changing characteristics of stars. You see, Betelgeuse is no ordinary star, its colossal size is truly mind-boggling, with a diameter about 700 times the size of the Sun, or 600 million miles. To put it into perspective, if we were to place Betelgeuse at the center of our solar system, its outer reaches would extend beyond the orbit of mighty Jupiter. Its sheer scale is a testament to its grandeur, an astronomical giant that has fascinated stargazers throughout history. At its peak intensity, it emits almost 7,500 times as much energy as the Sun and shines with a luminosity 150,000 times the total output of our home star. Unlike its celestial counterparts, Betelgeuse is a star that refuses to remain static. Its brilliance waxes and wanes, caught in a mesmerizing dance of light. This ever-changing nature gives it a classification as a semi-regular variable star a luminous beacon that experiences fluctuations in its brightness. Yet in recent years, Betelgeuse's behavior has become even more intriguing, captivating the attention of scientists and astronomers alike. Its luminosity has exhibited unexpected fluctuation that continues to puzzle us. This enigmatic star entered a phase in 2019 and 2020 known as the Great Dimming. Typically, Betelgeuse ranks among the ten brightest stars visible in the night sky. Astronomers have long been aware of its periodic dimming, occurring approximately every 425 days, during which it temporarily loses about a quarter of its maximum brightness. However, the extent of the star's unprecedented dimming, dropping by two-thirds, astounded researchers and was discernible even to the naked eye. Instead of its usual pattern of brightening and fading, Betelgeuse underwent a substantial decrease in brightness, dimming by approximately 60% within a few months. This unprecedented phenomenon drew the attention of scientists, 
who relied on observatories like the Hubble to gain a closer understanding of the star's atmosphere and the changes it was undergoing. Speculation arose that Betelgeuse might be on the verge of a supernova explosion, which intrigued people worldwide. Unlike our Sun, Betelgeuse is a massive star with a much shorter lifespan, and it is destined to go supernova at some point, transforming into either a neutron star or a black hole, depending on the amount of material left behind. Remarkable images of Betelgeuse's surface were obtained using the sphere instrument on ESO's very large telescope, showing a significant dimming in the lower left portion of the star. The dark area remained relatively unchanged throughout the observation period, indicating the presence of something hidden on the surface of the star. This mysterious structure was not a passing phenomenon, but rather moved in the same direction as our line of sight, suggesting that it resulted from a massive eruption on Betelgeuse's surface. <laughs> Moreover, the colossal ejection of mass from the star's surface, a phenomenon never witnessed before, showed that the eruption expelled an enormous amount of mass, estimated to be around 400 billion times more than a typical coronal mass ejection from our sun. This unprecedented event was potentially triggered by a plume of gas bubbling up from within the star, like boiling water inside a pressure pot, and it was influenced by its regular pulsation cycle. But the mysterious shadow was still an intriguing mystery that scientists could not ignore any further. While this event does not signify an impending explosion, it did disrupt Betelgeuse's typical 400-day pulsation cycle and may have potentially shortened its life cycle. Astronomers have studied the star's brightness fluctuations and surface movements for nearly two centuries, with ancient civilizations observing it for thousands of years as the alteration of this rhythmic pattern highlights the magnitude of the explosion. The star's internal structures may now be exhibiting erratic behavior, resembling an unbalanced washing machine tub. Although the outer layers of Betelgeuse have returned to their usual state, based on information from instruments like TESS and Hubble, the star's surface continues to fluctuate as it undergoes a regenerative process, comparable to a wobbly gelatin dessert. Unlike the Sun, which occasionally experiences coronal mass ejections, expelling small portions of its outer atmosphere, the significant ejection witnessed with Betelgeuse suggests that surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections may be distinct phenomena. The unfolding observations have come to challenge our current understanding and raise further questions about the mechanisms at play within this remarkable star. But NASA scientists had to dig deeper into the inner structure of the red giant. While Betelgeuse is gradually recovering from the effects of the great dimming, scientists remain focused on unraveling its peculiarities and behaviors. Although the surface mass ejection witnessed in 2019 was a surprise for humanity, it is plausible that similar events occur more frequently across the vast universe. This suggests that whatever hidden structure was present on Betelgeuse's surface had its origin from within the star. But what was that mysterious activity on the surface of Betelgeuse, and how did it affect its temperature to such a degree? Was it a cold blob on the star's surface? Or was it something science couldn't explain? To unravel the puzzle further, investigations by scientists has shed light on the cause of Betelgeuse's brightness decline, a huge cloud of dust originating from the star, partially obscuring its southern region. Now that's a little counterintuitive, because how can something so hot as a star produce something like a cold dust cloud? The questions were increasing in number, and yet there was no clue about the sudden behavior of Betelgeuse but a small team of astronomers in Chile had something to show about the red giant. A team led by astrophysicist Miguel Montagues conducted a study using high-resolution images captured by the Very Large Telescope in Chile. Their analysis revealed that an uncommonly cool convective cell led to a substantial decrease in the star's atmospheric temperature. Consequently, the gases emitted by Betelgeuse in 2019 rapidly condensed into dust, resulting in the obstruction of the star's light. Their analysis revealed that a combination of convective cell activity and the presence of a cold dust cloud likely contributed to the dimming event. It gets a lot easier if we understand it using a boiling pot. Suppose you're in a kitchen with a boiling pot of water on the stove. The bubbles rising to the surface of the pot are similar to what's happening on the surface of Betelgeuse, where hot material rises in what we call convective cells. 
Now, one area of your pot isn't boiling as vigorously as the rest. That's like a cooler convective cell on Betelgeuse. As the water boils, it creates steam that fills your kitchen, and in the cooler part of your pot, the steam condenses back into water faster, much like the gases from Betelgeuse condensing into dust due to the cooler convective cell. This steam starts fogging up your kitchen window, making it harder to see outside. This is what happens when the dust from Betelgeuse clouds our view of the star. It's not that the star is producing less light, but rather our view is obscured by a foggy window of dust, making Betelgeuse appear dimmer to us. This conclusion was reached through a meticulous analysis of detailed images taken before and after the dimming, coupled with over 10,000 computer simulations, and the data indicated that this explanation aligned most effectively with the observed phenomena. Astrophysicist Meredith Joyce from the Space Telescope Science Institute expressed confidence in the findings, emphasizing that the conduction of simulations further bolstered the accuracy of the explanation. While the star's core and stability are gradually recovering from this extraordinary event, Betelgeuse continues to exhibit highly unusual behavior. The interior is undergoing rapid oscillations, indicating a state of flux and movement, and this turbulent mix of plasma and magnetic fields could potentially explain why the star's current brightness deviates from expectations based on its 400-day cycle. These observations provided invaluable insight into how red stars shed mass as they approach the end of their lives, culminating in explosive supernova events. The quantity of lost mass plays a critical role in determining the ultimate fate of these stars, a spectacle of the millennium. Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant, has certainly lived a life characterized by immense unpredictability and intensity. At a mere 10 million years old, in stark contrast to our ancient 5 billion year old sun, Betelgeuse finds itself in the twilight of its rapid evolution. The inevitability of this cosmic light show beckons, leaving us, along with countless others, consumed by an insatiable curiosity. When will Betelgeuse finally unleash its titanic fury upon the cosmos? Presently, the star's luminosity undergoes rapid metamorphosis, altering its radiance every 130 days instead of the usual 425 it once did, as meticulously observed by the diligent Andrea Dupree, a devoted researcher of this celestial titan. However, this year, another unprecedented event on the star was observed, which shook the entire astronomical community. On May 20th, 2023, heralded by the watchful eye of Beetlebot, a dedicated Twitter account tracking Betelgeuse's every move, the American Association of Variable Star Observation reported a staggering 142% surge in Betelgeuse's brightness, an astronomical anomaly unprecedented in the history of space exploration. Since then, the subsequent updates have revealed an even more astounding development, a 150% increase in luminosity. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree, hailing from the prestigious Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, confirms that Betelgeuse now claims its place as the seventh brightest star in the night sky, ascending three positions among the top ten. According to one paper penned by Dupree and esteemed scientists from Harvard and the University of California, Berkeley, it may be another five to ten years before Betelgeuse resumes its familiar rhythm, oscillating between luminous transitions every 400 days, the authors emphasize that Betelgeuse, forever transformed by the great dimming event, now radiates with a new intensity, exhibiting altered light patterns and radial velocity. This extraordinary behavior of one of the brightest stars in our celestial tapestry has offered scientists an incredible opportunity to unravel the mysteries surrounding stellar demise. Possibly, as Betelgeuse transitions rapidly between its radiant and subdued states, it provides us with unprecedented insights into the final stages of a star's existence, which has been nothing short of eventful. However, according to some, the recent peculiar behavior of Betelgeuse should not be interpreted as an imminent supernova explosion. Or, as Grauer, an associate professor of astronomy at the University of Portsmouth and an authority on supernovae, asserts that predicting stellar explosions remains beyond our current capabilities. Thus, the exact timing of Betelgeuse's cataclysmic fate escapes us. Given the scarcity of supernova events in human history, it comes as no surprise that we lack adequate knowledge in this realm. 
Despite astronomers' hopeful aspirations, the chances of anyone alive witnessing Betelgeuse's dazzling demise are anyone's guess. Before Betelgeuse can unleash its supernova might, there is much groundwork to be laid. As a red giant star, it embarks on the sequence of fusion process involving various elements such as helium, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and finally iron. The journey begins as the star fuses helium into carbon within its core, a process spanning thousands of years. Gradually, it progresses to fuse carbon and helium, giving rise to oxygen, repeating the cycle and forging heavier elements like iron. Eventually, as fusion reactions falter, the star succumbs to its gravitational force, collapsing under its immense weight, triggering a cataclysmic explosion of unparalleled proportions that can outshine entire galaxies. Some experts are even skeptical that its explosion will even occur within our lifetime, or for that matter, even thousands of years ahead in the future. Who knows, it might happen as you're watching this video. Gerard Goldberg, an astrophysicist at the Flatiron Institute, emphasizes that Betelgeuse will indeed explode, but the term soon would mean a vast amount of time, spanning anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 years. Goldberg asserts that staking one's career on Betelgeuse's imminent explosion would be ill-advised. Compelling evidence hints at a far distant detonation. But as we dig deeper into the Red Giant's explosive future, we find that Betelgeuse might be closer to its flashy demise. Jason Ivara, an expert in stellar studies and the history of astronomy at West Virginia University, also shares this view, shedding light on this intriguing phenomenon. Tracing historical records spanning two millennia, he arrived at a remarkable observation. Betelgeuse has steadily grown redder over time. This suggests that Betelgeuse assumed the guise of a red supergiant relatively recently in cosmic terms, necessitating a significant duration for the star to entirely deplete its fuel reserves. To the best of Jason's understanding, Betelgeuse's supernova remains a distant prospect, but our ancient history has traces of these stellar phenomena, and we used to worship them as well. In 1987, a surprising event shattered the notion that only red supergiants could undergo supernovae. A massive blue star in a distant galaxy defied expectations and exploded, leaving astronomers astounded and hungry for more knowledge. For instance, recent observations have added another layer of intrigue, suggesting that Betelgeuse may be on the verge of an earlier explosion than previously thought. Its appearance on June 2, 2023, challenges our understanding of its evolutionary stage, hinting at a potential late phase or the final stages of core carbon burning. This contradicts the prevailing belief that Betelgeuse is presently in its helium burning phase. Based on this, some experts now believe that once carbon is depleted within Betelgeuse's core, a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion could occur within a few tens of years. This prediction is remarkable, yet caution is warranted. Determining Betelgeuse's precise stage is a challenge, as surface changes become minimal during the approach to carbon depletion. Findings indicate that the anticipated core collapse is likely to happen a few tens of years after carbon depletion. Betelgeuse's proximity makes it a prime candidate for the next galactic supernova. While the exact date of carbon depletion remains unknown, the study suggests that the majority of carbon is nearing exhaustion, foreshadowing a supernova event that could well happen within our lifetimes. However, we must emphasize that the information provided is still hypothetical, as the study has not been peer-reviewed yet and could undergo significant changes before its final form. But still, let's take a moment to contemplate the sheer astonishment if Betelgeuse were to go supernova. How extraordinary would it be to witness such an event from a star in such proximity? The visual spectacle of Betelgeuse's supernova would be absolutely mind-blowing. The last supernova visible from our Milky Way occurred way back in 1604, but with Betelgeuse's proximity, its explosion will be even more incredible. According to the latest estimates, we can expect the supernova to be visible during daylight for several weeks. Betelgeuse is approximately 642 light-years away from Earth, and even ancient Egyptian records speak of possible supernova, describing the appearance of a second sun in the sky. When the moment arrives, it will astound anyone fortunate enough to witness it. 
The initial indications of the supernova's approach will be subtle yet unmistakable. Neutrinos, ghostly particles emitted during the star's collapse, will sweep over our planet, triggering detectors worldwide. Then, as high-energy photons escape from the expanding cloud of stellar debris, the true spectacle will unfold. You won't need any special equipment, just your unaided eyes. Over time, the star will gradually increase in brightness, becoming incredibly radiant. It will reach its peak brilliance after a few days, shining between 10,000 to 100,000 times brighter than usual. In just one week, Betelgeuse will become the most luminous object in the sky, surpassing even Venus, which is currently the second brightest object in our night sky. Depending on the strength of the explosion, the remnants could shine as brightly as a quarter or half of a full moon, concentrated into a single point of light. Predictions suggest it could be anywhere from 15 to 250 times brighter than Venus. The death of Betelgeuse will be a grand spectacle, capturing our attention for a significant period. While it may not last forever, it will persist for approximately 100 days. For astronomers, this would be a monumental event, providing a rare opportunity to study the aftermath up close and unveil a treasure trove of surprising discoveries. Subsequently, the star will gradually fade away over hundreds of days until it vanishes into the vast darkness. However, fear not, as binoculars and telescopes will allow us to observe its remnants for an extended duration. Moreover, there is no need to worry about any harm, as Betelgeuse's supernova is still distant enough to pose no threat to human beings. So rest assured, there will be no adverse effects to be concerned about. Or will it? In our quest for knowledge and exploration, we must approach the future of Betelgeuse and the wider universe with both excitement and humility. Whether Betelgeuse goes supernova within our lifetime or not, the ongoing study of this stellar giant has already expanded our understanding of stellar evolution and the cosmic events that shape our universe. Thanks for watching.